welcome back everyone to another video in our Pipesters analysis course. In this video, we are going to learn the approach of Caesar 2 software in modeling underground pipelines. We have learned earlier in section 1 the forces that affect any piping system. However, the stresses on any underground pipeline relies mainly on the pipe to soil interaction, which depends on the following parameters of the soil unit weight of the soil and the depth of soil cover because based on this data it will be calculated the weight of the backfilling soil above the pipeline, the shear strength of the soil because it governs the resistance of the soil to the pipeline deformations and the angle of internal friction which governs the soil strength also. Also it depends on the contact area between the pipe and the soil which is a factor of the pipeline diameter. Caesar 2 software models the pipe to soil interaction in form of an elastic plastic springs around the pipeline at each node. These springs could be manually inserted using the type of support to be Y2 or X2 or Z2 and instead of just Y, X or Z support, then inserting the values of K1, K2 and Fy, where K1 is the elastic soil stiffness, K2 is the plastic soil stiffness and Fy is the soil yield strength. If the forces on the pipe at any point is less than Fy, then Caesar 2 will automatically use the value of K1 as the stiffness because the soil here will be within the elastic range. While if the forces on the pipeline at any point exceed the Fy, then Caesar 2 will automatically use the K2 value as the stiffness because the soil here will be within the plastic range. Of course, you can get the K1, K2, Fy values from your soil report. However, we don't have to model those springs manually on Caesar 2 because Caesar 2 has a very handy tool to automatically model underground pipeline as we will learn in our example in the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.